It's a gorgeous day out in the greenhouses here today at Garden Crossings. Hi, I'm Heidi, and today I'm going to show you some of these beautiful bloomable, which is a new brand we're carrying, perennials. There's a lot of color going on right now in this bloomable series, so I thought why not head out in the greenhouses and just show you the beautiful flowers. So with the bloomable series, the thought is with the bloomable products, if you take them and plant them in your garden, you're going to have things blooming at various times in the season which I think is really kind of cool to kind of stage your garden so that it's always in color. Also, the products in the Bloomable series are kind of those tried, true, and tested perennials that just do well everywhere. Let's take a closer look at some of the beautiful Bloomable perennials that are blooming right now. Bloomable's Pincushion Flower, also known as a Scabiosa. This one here is the Flutter series, and it's the Deep Blue. Scabiosa Flutter Deep Blue is a beautiful perennial for full sun locations. It's got medium water requirements and it gets 12 to 14 inches tall and 10 to 12 inches wide. It's hardy in zones 5 to 9, so it really is a great hardy plant for the full spectrum here for most of the areas in the United States. Large, bold color flowers on short stems bloom from early spring until fall. Enjoy the beautiful blooms all summer long of the Scabiosa Flutter Deep Blue. Not all interest in the garden comes from flowers. Here we have a beautiful foliage interest plant, and this is the Snowflake Dusty Miller called Silver Swirl. Snowflake Dusty Miller, Silver Swirl, part of the Centura family, likes to be planted in full sun and has light water requirements. This is going to be more of a drought tolerant plant. It gets 8 to 11 inches tall and 11 to 14 inches wide. It's hardy in zones 6B to 9B. Stunning silver white leaves brighten any space. Wavy leaf edges add a wonderful texture, perfect for borders, mixed combinations. I know here at Garden Crossings we've been using a lot of these in our annual combinations just to add the beautiful silver color and texture. It's a wonderful addition to your perennial beds as well as to container gardens. One word to describe this plant, wow. The minute I lifted this up, I just got this beautiful aroma of lavender. This is an English lavender. It's called Super Blue, also called Lavendula. Lavendula Super Blue likes to be planted in full sun locations. Typically, you'll find that lavender are more of a drought tolerant perennial. This particular variety is very compact in size, only getting 10 to 12 inches tall and 10 to 12 inches wide. Hardy in zones 5A to 8B. The large blue blooms on short flower spikes make this an excellent lavender to have in your garden. As I mentioned too, just wa walking through and working with these right now, lifting up the pots, so much fragrance, it's just really breathtaking. Imagine placing one of these by the entrance to your home. As you walk in, you get greeted by this wonderful smell of lavender. Uh, this also makes a great cut flower or dried flower if you're somebody that likes to um, dry lavender to place in the home. This one definitely has got nice long spikes. And have I mentioned that wonderful fragrance? In addition, this is a lavender that has excellent winter hardiness and holds up really well in the landscape. Add a little fun and a little whimsy to the garden with Armeria. This is Dreamaria Daydream also known as a thrift. Armeria Dreamaria Daydream is a full sun loving perennial. It's got medium water requirements and is another one of the compact perennials for the garden, standing only 10 to 12 inches tall and 10 to 12 inches wide. This is typically more of an earlier summer bloomer. It's hardy in zones 5A to 9A, so another one that really encompasses most of the area in the United States. Thrills in landscapes and patio containers. It blooms spring through fall, so long blooming. Um, oftentimes you'll find these in rock gardens or just tucked into little spaces of the garden. Just watching these beautiful pink balls just kind of dancing in the breeze. Our Marriott Dream Area, a beautiful addition to your perennial gardens and containers. Candy Tuck Snow Station, a beautiful splash of color for your late spring gardens. Iberis, also known as Candy Tuft Snow Station, is a great late spring blooming perennial. It likes to be planted in full sun, medium water requirements, and only gets 6 to 8 inches tall and 10 to 12 inches wide. 
This is a great early spring ground cover that will just lay a mat of color in the garden. It does continue to spread and get a little wider as time goes on. Hardy in zones 4A to 9A, you'll see large white flowers that provide a bright spot in your early spring garden. You can mix it in with your creeping flocks to add a beautiful white with the pinks and the purples of creeping flocks for a nice low growing border ground cover or even tucked into spaces within a rock garden. Foxglove Arctic Fox Rose. Foxglove, also known as Digitalis, this particular variety is called Arctic Fox Rose, and it features these beautiful bell-shaped flowers of rosy on the outside and beautiful yellow on the inside. Foxglove like to be grown in full sun locations and have medium water requirements. This particular variety gets 18 to 24 inches tall and 16 to 18 inches wide. Hardy in zones five through nine. Foxglove is a great plant for hummingbirds and butterflies Really anything with a nice bell-shaped flower is something that you're going to find the hummingbirds and butterflies really enjoy. Striking rose pink foxglove blooms all season long. Frost tolerant and like I mentioned, it attracts those pollinators to the garden. So if you're looking to add some beautiful upright color to the garden, consider the foxglove arctic fox rose. There are other varieties available in the arctic fox series, so be sure to check those out as well. New additions to the Coneflower Double Scoop series are the new Deluxe Flowers. Let's check them out. Coneflower, also known as Echinacea, this particular one is the Double Scoop series Strawberry Deluxe. So what makes these so deluxe? Extra large blooms. These blooms are huge on these plants. Also, the Deluxe series has been bred for excellent branching and a more fuller, tighter habit. So you're gonna get more branching, which means more blooms on these beautiful coneflower plants. Coneflowers like to be planted in full sun locations, medium water requirements, and this particular variety gets 22 to 24 inches tall in about 18 to 20 inches wide, creating a nice upright mound. Hardy in zones 4A to 9B. Coneflowers typically are fragrant. The birds, the butterflies, the pollinators love them. And personally, I love them too. They're a great midsummer bloomer. There's an abundance of double blooms here on these double scoop series with brilliant non-fading color. So the colors you're seeing are gonna stay true to color from when they begin to open until when the flowers are finishing. These winter hardy coneflowers provide long lasting garden enjoyment from early summer until the fall. And the last flower we'll be featuring in today's video is the wallflower called Bowls Me Away. Wallflower Bowls Me Away is one of the new varieties that we've added this year. We've never carried a wallflower in the past. So it's been really exciting to watch this plant as it's come into bloom. It was one of the first perennials to start blooming in the greenhouse and it's just continued to go. It's been probably uh, four to six weeks right now and it just has not stopped flowering with these beautiful lavender blooms. It likes to be planted in a part sun location, has medium water requirements, and gets 18 to 24 inches tall and wide, creating just a nice mounding habit. It's hardy in zones 6A to B. This is a heat tolerant wallflower and it has large, bright lavender flower heads with narrow gray green leaves. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited to get this one out in my landscape and enjoy its blooms. It blooms for, it's a long season bloomer, so something you're gonna be able to enjoy the blooms for many, many weeks and potentially months in the garden. So this is super exciting and I can't wait, like I said, to get this one planted. We're so excited to add this new bloomable line of perennials to our offerings, and we hope you're just as excited as what we are. You can go to their website, bloomables.com, and check out more information on the full series of plants in the Bloomables collection, as well as heading to our website, gardencrossings.com, where we also have a tab to all of the bloomable perennials that we carry. We'll be sure to put that link below. If there's anything that you've seen today that you are just falling in love with, you can head to our website, Garden crossings.com where we'll take your order and ship it directly to your door or if you're in our area here in Zeeland Michigan we welcome you to stop out to our retail garden center where you can shop and see for yourself thanks for watching I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings